Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to make a quick video on my most recent demon I've beaten, Butterfly Effect by Linko. Butterfly Effect is going to mark my 19th demon level overall, and also my 4th circles level. Only behind levels like Ultra Paracosm, Retro Circles, and Problematic. Which by the way, those three levels, in my opinion, much easier. You can definitely see why Butterfly Effect was a medium demon originally, because maybe the whole level was too difficult. Or like most people would say, the 90% dual part was too hard. Which, I will I will admit, that part took me 300 attempts to get in practice mode, doing the start position from 87. After some practice though, it became easier, but I will admit that's probably why it was a medium demon. But there also are some parts that we're going to be going over in this video that were a pain in the butt to deal with. So before we get into the analysis of the level, there are two other things I want to go over that made me think of doing this video. The first thing is to let you guys know that Butterfly Effect is actually a good starting point for Circles levels, or more of like that big step to levels like Paracosm Circles, Fear Me, or Figures. And the other major thing of Butterfly Effect is how many attempts the level took. It became my most attempt-heavy demon level, and that alone also adds some points for the video. I'll also be comparing it to three other levels that took me a crap ton of attempts. We'll do the numbers at the end of the video when we're done the analysis. Anyhow, let's go into the level and pick apart the parts that I think were worth talking about in like they were really difficult and stuff like that. It's like basically parts where I died maybe 30 to 50 times. So honestly, the first 40% of the level isn't too bad. It just requires some memorization. But the first big part here is the mini wave from 42 to 47%. This whole wave part as well isn't the worst outside of this one little click where this random diamond decoration is. And I can tell you something, it looks out of place, but it is there for a reason, because if that wasn't there, you can just stick to the top of the wall and just go down. And trust me, I probably wouldn't have died there at all. But that small diamond decoration warranted about 50 attempts of me just dying to that one part. The next major pain in the butt is this part that I like to call the endurance test goes from 63% to 80%. This part is just the most bland of the bunch. It's just precise wave timings with all these random saws. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if these saws were literally randomly placed. It's not hard. It's just really easy to slip up on. I died here way more times than I should have. And not to mention the other two parts I wanted to talk about are literally right next to this. This next part, I had a hard time watching the footage over. The mini wave from 80 to 87. This whole wave part is whatever, but this one click at 84% drove me nuts. I must have died here 60, maybe 70 times. Because this click has to be so precise. I mean, I was looking through the comments of the level, and I noticed no one was dying to this part. Like, most people were, were complaining that the final duel was the worst part, and I will admit the final duel is pretty bad, which is the next part we're talking about. But why is no one talking about this 84% click? I think at first it took me like 30 attempts just to get one good shot at it. 30 attempts at this 84% click just to pass it. And maybe on like the third day when I was beating this level, I got somewhat consistent at it. But oh no, the level's not done yet. Alright, you guys all saw this coming. The final duel from 87 to 92. Infamously known as the hardest part of the level. And I will admit, if it wasn't for me doing this in practice mode, yeah, I probably would have died here a hundred times bare minimum. But surprisingly, I only died here maybe like seven or eight times because I did do this one part in practice mode. Although I did have two embarrassing deaths at 93, which was literally right after the dual part was over to this random saw. And another 200 attempts later, because again, 84% and the other choke points I mentioned, I finally beat the level. And finally, the rating of the level and also how many attempts. So I think the level is pretty solid. It's a good challenge for an easy demon circles level. And again, a good step to getting to like the medium demon circles levels, or if you want to beat the original nine circles by Zobros. But the attempts, I might have overkilled myself for this one, and I bet people can beat this easily now. But let me compare it to three other demons. First is the Yadagarasu by Manix, which is my hardest level currently. That level took me 1,950 attempts. Next up is Death Moon, which took me 1,962 attempts. 
X, which took me 2,099 attempts. And finally, Butterfly Effect took me 2,487 attempts. And there we have it, guys. My not-so-in-depth analysis on Butterfly Effect. Not really going to get too deep into this. Just want to go over a few parts of it. And now we're moving on to my 20th Demon. Which I don't know what to do now. I want to do something special. Because I always did something special for, like, every 5th Demon. For my 5th Demon, I did Death Moon, which was my hardest. At the t well, my hardest at the time. My 10th Demon did Retro Circles, which was my first Circles level. My 15th Demon was Sirius which was my second medium demon after B, and was my third hardest level. So 20th demon, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm going to go through another mental breakdown with the original nine circles. Maybe I'll do like No Wise or Against the God, which is a really cool medium demon. And again, would still break into my top five hardest levels. I think I'm going to push nine circles back to like my 25th demon, because seriously, that level, if I had a struggle with butterfly effect... Nine Circles is going to be a whole other level of pain. I think in between my 20th and 25th, I'm going to do some sort of Medium Demon, but I don't know which one. Maybe Fear Me or Paracosm Circles, maybe Solar Circles. And then there's Figures, which has the worst beginning I have ever seen. Why is it start with this? This ship part is just... I, I, we don't want to talk about that. It's just really bad. And just... That's most Medium Demon Circles levels. They start really bad and then the wave part it kind of flows better but that's it all right guys so that's gonna be it for this short video plus this really long outro sorry guys i'm gonna get something bigger out in the next two weeks so i'm planning to do something i don't know what to do maybe i'll do like rate my favorite extreme demons or something which is something i say a lot but it's mostly about gameplay because well 12 percent on cataclysm i think that's a good thing to say that I'm not very good at the game still. Like Again, I'm just a mobile player just trying his best to even throw attempts at the wall even at insane demons. All right, guys. So if you guys want to, if you really want to for this video, drop a like on the video and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Now we're at 770 subscribers to only 22 away from our next goal, 800. And for 1,000 subscribers, which is going to be our next like really big special video, I have no clue what we're going to be doing. Only time will tell. Maybe I won't even do Pokemon cards. Maybe I'll do, like, a special vlog or something. Maybe, like, a challenge with my friends or something. We'll have to see. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this shorter video. Hopefully, I get something bigger out in the next, like, maybe 10 days or so. Only time will tell. Just expect it to take at least another week. I I'm going to say, like, a week or two. Or maybe I'll get, like, another small video out sooner or later. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Peace out.